Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have another quick Canva tutorial. Today I want to show you a, an app that I just found. Um, it's uh, it's still in beta mode, so bear with me as I walk through it. Um, it's called Product Photos, and the idea is that if you are um, an e-commerce seller or something, um, and you have photos of your products, you took photos of your products, and then you just want to make them look more professional, um, maybe give it a different background, you know, get rid of the background of your original photo, and give it a white background or something like that, um, then you can use this app to create product photos. And Canva had similar apps like uh, mockups, for example, is one of one of those apps that you can use to create product photos. Um, so this is this is something um, something new. It looks like Canva is working on, and the only way to find this app is through the apps panel or the apps tab from the home page. So I actually tried searching for it um, here in the search bar, and when I do that. I don't really see anything relevant show up. It just gives me templates, but not the app. So I have to go to um, Canva homepage and then click apps. And even here, when I search for product photos, I don't really see a relevant app show up. Only mockups show up, but like I said, it's a different app. It's not the mockups app. Um, so the only place where I can find it right now as of making this video is the left panel. So when you go to, so for example, if you're back in the home page, click on apps. And then from the left under recommended on the left panel, you'll see product photos. So click on that. And then this is what comes up basically. And so what you have to do at this point, um, as you can see, let me just point out once again, it's in beta mode, it's still being developed. So it's not going to be perfect. It has flaws. Uh, it's at this time, it's very limited in terms of functionality. But um, in case some of you see this, I know some of you have, that's why I'm making this video. Um, so if you're seeing this, you know, just know that it's still in beta, it's still being developed. So, you know, just bear that in mind. Um, in order to use it, just click choose photos from here at the top, um, the purple button, or you can click choose photos here, the gray button, either way, it's fine. You can select from your upload. If you have already uploaded a product photo um, on Canva, then click select from uploads, or you can upload a new photo uh, from your computer. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. So this is my photo. Let's just say that this, this is actually a stock photo, but let's assume that this is a photo of a backpack that I took. Now, how do I use it? Um, just click, once it's uploaded, click next from the top right corner. And these are the options that are available to me. Like I said, it's very limited at this time you only have very few options available. And there are two different categories. One of them is e-commerce and the other one, other one is automotive. So if you have a car or something, you can use that. Um, but let's, let's just stick with e-commerce for this tutorial. And we have a photo that we saw earlier. Um, it's kind of a busy photo of a backpack with a busy background. Um, and you can choose a simpler style here to create your product photo. So, for this one, let's go with the platinum, this one. Click apply, and then you just have to wait a few seconds for it to process and finish the photo. So let's wait, and it's done. So as you can see, if we click it, um, basically what happened is that um, the app kind of got rid of the background uh, because remember, it had a very busy background, this photo. Um, just for the heck of it, let me show you what the photo was, the original photo. This was the original photo. Um, so as you can see, um, it has a very busy background. So what Canva did, Canva got rid of that background and applied the 
Um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is kind of being weird today. Um, it applied the template or the style that we chose. Um, and then you can either use it in a design or download it. Um, you know, if you're selling a backpack that looks like it, then you can just download the image and use it on your e-commerce uh, platform. Now let's pick a different style. Um, so again, let's choose a photo. Let's choose the same photo. Click next and just ch let's choose a different style this time. So we have a uh, brownish backpack. So I don't want to choose like powder blue or wisteria or sizzling red or anything um, because that would be too much, I think. Let's go with a, a wooden table. The other colors feel like it's going to clash with our brown bag. So wooden table might work. So let's click apply and once again, let's wait. Da, 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 da. Waiting, 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 taking some time, but that's fine. Oh, there you go. So this is the product photo with the wooden background. And that looks pretty cool. Um, you know, I think uh, this looks kind of nice. Um, it gives a nice clean vibe. You know, if you if you're taking photo of products, let's just assume that you're starting a thrift shop, an online thrift shop. You know, things that you find in thrift shops, and then you can uh, you kind of uh, resell them uh, or something. You make some updates. You know, you I, I I know some people who do that. They buy things from thrift stores. Um, and then they make some changes and then resell them um, in their shops. And if you're someone like that, for example, just, just to give you an example, uh, let's say that that's what you're doing and you take photos of your products at home and then um, you just want to make them look more professional, nicer, you know, with a clean backdrop, then you can use the product photo um, app on Canva to make them look kind of, you know, clean, just clean up the background and just make them look pretty like that. So yeah, that's, that's what the app is. Like I said, it, it has very limited features right now. Um, more may be added in the future. I don't know, but it's in the, it's in beta. So it's being developed, but it's there. I know a bunch of you have seen it already. Um, so I figured it might be better to make a video of it right now and kind of show you what it does, what it is. Um, hopefully it was useful to you and I will see you with a different video soon. Bye.